Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's let's do a get ready with me. Let's have some makeup therapy. I've had a long week. It's winter break. My son is home and my nerves are shredded. All right, we're going to start with the eyes today. I'm speaking a little quiet too because um, he's still sleeping. <laughs> he's my boss. Um, let's start with the eyes. Somebody said they wanted to see my eyes from the beginning. Girl, you only have to ask me once. So I'm going to prep my eye. I'm going to use the NARS um, the concealer in the pot in caramel. And I usually just dip my sponge in it and just set my eyes and I feel like when I have a lighter base on my eye my shadows pop more and so um to set it down I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder in honey I had to flip it over to get some so I'm gonna set it down with honey because honey is sort of light like this well kind of because the lighter the base the more the shadows pop, which of course you guys know. It makes sense. All right, so let's get started. I finished up my brow. I use my Sephora brow pencil. That's all I use today um, in the shade black. All right, so today I'm gonna to use three eyeshadow palettes. And if you know me, I'm not a big eyeshadow expert when it comes to doing eye looks. I keep it basic and simple. So this is basically like my um, signature eye. Sorry, I had to adjust my camera. All right, so um, I'm using Dose of Colors times Desi and Katie. Um, basically three of the top 10 eyeshadow palettes. If you looked at my um, last video, my Natasha Denona Bronze palette, and I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta palette. All right, so let's start with the um, Dose of Colors uh, Desi time Katie. So I'm gonna start with this deep, beautiful chocolate brown right here, and I don't tap it off. I want all the pigment and I'm just going to place it down right here and I'm not concerned about how it goes down because I'm going to be blending it out anyway. If I was already wearing foundation, I would have gone and powder. I would have gone on my, um, I would have gone on my lash line with this color as well. All right, so using the same brush, I'm going in with this beautiful reddish brown burgundy shade, and I'm going to put it like right on the center where I can like feel my eyeball right there. And I think the two blend together gives it that really, and this as well, I'm not tapping off and there's no fallout. If there's fallout, of course, you have to tap off. But with these two um, shades, really isn't any fallout. So it gives it that sort of like a rich look. And before I go in with any shimmer, I'm going to set down uh, my brows. I'm going to use the two warm shades on top. These two right here. This I'm going to tap off. And I love a matte brow bone before. I used to love like um, shimmer on my brow, not so much anymore. I feel like this gives my eye like a cleaner look. All right, now for shimmer, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful sort of bronze shade right here. And usually I would use my fingers, but since I have these big mitts on, and I, I'm gonna put it just anywhere where I don't have shadow, like in the corners, and just set it down. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Desi Times Katie palette, and I'm gonna take my favorite, one of my the other favorite shade in the palette, this champagne sort of shade right here, on a little brush, and I'm gonna go over top of this but I'm keeping it more to the tear duct area for like a little pop and a little contrast and 
if you're not good at shadows like me, like, like creating these exotic looks, try something basic like this. Just layer shadows and blend them all together. Because that's pretty much what it is. Just layering and blending together. Alright guys, I'm back with lashes and liner. I used my liquid liner from Patrick Star. I love this in shade in black. And um, on my tight line, I used Makeup Forever's Whatever Black. I'm also going to be using it on my waterline. I've been loving this. All right. So for my face, so I've already, of course, moisturized sunscreen. I have my Juvia's Place, the... Soft Radiance, I think it's called, in shade 2 on. Since I got it, I've used it every day. Now, I color corrected like crazy on my chin area because I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier um, foundation. I have it in the shade Sienna. Every time I've worn it, which has kind of stopped me from wearing it a little bit, and of course, I didn't bring it back, I get a white cast on my chin. So I figured I've been figuring out ways like to wear it so I do a lot of correcting of course I color corrected out of my eyes I use my makeup forever the HD one I don't think they make it anymore um and this technique that um I've been using has helped greatly with like removing that um that white cast do you guys like sitting and doing your makeup because <laughs> like my sister she she hates it. She hates the steps. She just does it because, you know, she just wants to have, like, an even complexion. For me, I enjoy it. And I really enjoy this foundation. I just don't like the white cast it gives me. And for the people that were asking about that um, Juvia's Place, that um, Radiance, it's not online, guys. You have to go in-store, which is it's usually the opposite, right? But you have to, um, I shouldn't be lifting my arms too much because not a great situation under there. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm going in with the L'Oreal, um, the True Match, the Serum Concealer. And I don't care. I put high end with, with drugs or whatever. I don't really care. But to combat this grayness on my chin with this foundation... I'm going to use Huda Beauty's um, Salt El Caramel on my chin as well because it has like a red undertone. All right, guys, let's talk makeup launches, right? Do you see all the stuff that, that's dropping? But you, you know what I think? What I've, well, what I've realized? And of course, I love makeup. I'm going to keep buying makeup, you know, whatever. But it's like we literally purchase the same things over and over it's just packaged differently i'm telling you i mean i see patrick toss coming out with two two three new duos blush duos um then lys is coming out with stick blushes then we have makeup forever came out with a loose powder and they came up with a pressed bronzer. YSL is coming out with a pressed powder and a pressed bronzer. But like how many pressed bronzers and pressed powders can we have? How many loose powders can we have? You guys saw me try to declutter my, my powders and my... It's ridiculous. So you see, I this has like a reddish undertone. But when I blend it out, I'm just going to put a little bit of the um, True Match. And what I've been doing... Um, this is something new for me, like mid, mid makeup. I wash my hair. My shampoo smells like so nice. Um, I've been using my Gucci setting spray, mm, the bougie Gucci, Gucci setting spray, but it's, it's worth it. If, if Sephora has a seal and I've just been spritzing my face. Letting it sit for a little bit. And then I would blend up my concealer. Yeah, so um oh it's running a little bit. Let's let's go left, yeah, let's talk about launches, right? We do we literally we're buying the same things over and over. I could have sworn I had my concealer brush. It was sitting right in front of me. This is a Sephora number 71, right? So um yeah. So in 2024, 
I mean, I know I have my channel and stuff like that, but in 2024, I'm going to have a lot more discipline. I'm going to get this concealer in a brighter shade eventually. It's so good, guys. Check it out if you're in Ulta. Um, I'm going to be very, like, I have to be smart about not buying everything. Because it's like you're repurchasing the same thing. How many cream blushes can we have, right? It's kind of crazy. And then in the end, it's like you have FOMO. So you're like rushing to buy everything. But when you really think about it, and with this spray, it just pulls everything into my face. I feel like everything is more like soft and radiant, even when I'm blending it out. And as a person with dry skin, I love it. And that spray is so beautiful. I feel like I don't have to do much with the sponge. The brush, just putting down that spray. I mean, I think it would probably work for, for um, any setting spray, maybe. But I've never really done it. I just started, you know, like playing around with like doing it. And I feel like it makes the, because I like to blend up my concealer with the brush. I think it makes the blending out process like easier, at least for me. All right. So. As I told you guys, I've been going through my makeup, like just revisiting products and not like buying products. And I've rediscovered my Fenty, her cream bronzer. I have it in the shade um, 06 chocolate. And I'm like, why haven't I been using this Fenty? Um, it's really good. I never liked her. I, I still sound like I'm whispering. I have to stop up, you know, I don't want to wake him up. Somebody was just outside blowing their horn. I wanted to murder them. Oh, I shouldn't say that word. So, see how nice it is? I mean, it's cool. I've been liking it a lot. And I'm like, you see, you buy so many things, right? I have so many cream bronzers. Of course, some I like more than some, but it's basically the same things we're buying over and over. And our collection is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then, of course, for you guys, you have people like me telling you what to buy <laughs> i am so guilty of that because you have to get the juvia's place that radiance it's a must and you have to get that l'oreal concealer and you have to have this and uh, you have to have this laura mercier foundation it's such a beautiful foundation don't be like me and get the wrong shade and then don't bring it back because that's just stupid but so i like putting a little cream highlighter highlighter down before powder so I'm going in with the highlighter from the Make It Forever, the HD palette. Everything is going to be listed in the description box. And I like to put this on with my fingers. The sun is going in and out. I don't know if you guys can notice because I have my ring light down very low because I love filming with mostly natural light, but the sun is playing me. All right, let's go in with powder, and I'm layering two powders. I'm, I'm going to show you how um, how I do it. A lot of people, when they layer powders, they do pressed and then loose. I'm doing two loose powders today. My Maybelline Fit Me, of course, in shade 30. So I just set this down with a brush just to have, because for me, I'm always afraid to like go straight in with a sponge or a puff when my concealer is wet. I feel like... For me, I it gets a little patchy and it can like lift up. So I prefer to just pat it with with the brush. And I make sure, you know, I get all the corners where it can, you know, the concealer can still look wet. And then after I'm done with this, I, I'm gonna go in with the kimchi powder, which I've been loving in the shade Suntan. I've spoken about this several times. And this is what it looks like. And I sort of like bake with it because I'll let it sit for a while. Because a lot of times when I do my makeup, I do my, my face first. So while this sits, I'll probably be like finishing up my brows or something. But today I'm just gonna let it, well, no, I can powder my face while it sits. I put a good amount because you can build it up and I like how it brightens. And 
What I like about this compared to the Huda Beauty, the peach pie powder, this has more peach in it and it's not as matte. I wish the Huda Beauty had looked more peach. Um, I know the light is going to wash this powder out maybe a little bit, but you can look at it right away. You can see the peach in it. All right. So for, um, for all over, I'm using, of course, my new favorite powder from Rare Beauty. It's the Always an Optimist powder. I have it in the shade medium deep. It has a sifter, so I usually just pour it over um, into the cover. And I've been loving this. And I'm going to go in with my Make a Forever brush. I think it's called the wavy or something. And like I had said before, I've had this brush for years. I've never seen one um, hair come out of it. And I'll just set this. And what I like about this, it doesn't look like powder. And um, even if you don't have dry skin, but you don't like the look of like, you can see like your face look like, like it has powder. This is the powder for you. Then I'll just go in and I'll remove it, but I don't like, like wipe it away. I pretty much press it in. And let's say I didn't have um, makeup on my eye. I'll bring it up on my eyelids, on my eyelids as well. So instead of swiping it off, I just press it. All right. In. For powder bronzer, I am going in with Thick Mint from Fenty Beauty. I've been revisiting all her complexion products. And with Thick Mint, um, somebody said it's a play on Thin Mint, the Girl Scouts cookies. You know, I've never had um, Girl Scout cookies. I've never tried them. I heard they're really good, and I think um, they're fat-free now, right? Don't quote me on that. <laughs> like, don't go eat it and thinking it's fat-free. That's what I. That's what I think. So for bronzers, I've been doing the most. Like I said, just trying my best to use the products I have. So oh, there's a hair on my forehead. So um, I've been contouring because I'm using this as a contour powder. So I've been contouring and I've been bronzing. Then I'm gonna go in with Coco Naughty to um, bronze. And I saw somebody did this on TikTok. She had my complexion. So I've been doing that and I've been loving it. So she, in so since I have the darker contour here, just she's just been going right above it with her bronzer and it looks really nice. And even with this sometimes, especially if you're of a darker complexion, you don't really need a blush if you do it like this. But of course, I'm gonna go in with um, blush. And I like that idea. And then um, for the forehead, you just take the bronzer and just go right below where you put the deeper contour shade and like right here and I've been doing it like for over a week now and I like it and I'm getting to actually use my products see that all right for blush all I've been using is my Patrick Ta duos and that L'Oreal blush I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta duo today in do we know her so I noticed one of the new blush duos, because of course I, I'm checking it out and I'm wrestling with myself, do I need it? Looks very similar to this, but I want to swatch for myself. Um, not all Sephora's have it though. One of my faves on TikTok, um, she went to her Sephora and she swatched them. And I was looking at it and I'm saying to myself, it looks very similar to this, but I have to see it in person. And then the nude color one, looks like she's so LA. So I'm saying to myself, do I really need it? And I think the answer is probably no. Would I get it? I don't know because the FOMO is real and wanting new makeup is real. But, and you see, I've hit pan on this. I've hit pan on she's so LA as well. Because a lot of these things we don't need. We just think we need it, but we don't need it. <sighs> And then, of course, I'm going with Valentino's Bright Dream. This has been a staple in my makeup routine. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, I think this may be the first. It's um, it's marketed as a blush, 
but I use it more of like a highlighter and a topper. I love it. I think it just makes my cheeks look so beautiful, but it's expensive. But I think this is probably one of the first highlighters in a while I'm going to hit pan on. All right, so now I'll just set my face with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, and then I will finish up with my lips. All right, so for lips, I've already went in with my Wet n Wild um, lip liner in Simmer Down Brown. Oh, I thought I heard him. <laughs> my boss. All right, so um, I'm going in with Juvia's Place Lady. I've been obsessed with their lipsticks. I want more. How many new lipsticks can we have? This is like a nudie, peachy pink shade. And then I'm gonna go over top with Soft Life. This is also from Juvia's Place. It's a nice, it's almost like a lip balmy kind of, I just love the texture of it. It has like a minty, um, it feels minty on your lip. I don't know if it's a plumper though, but it just feels like it has that tingly sort of minty and it just gives me that sheen, look. It just make your lip look juicy because even if you don't have like full lips like me like when you put on stuff like this like any type of shine I'm not a huge lip gloss person because my hair gets stuck to it and I wear my hair down a lot but I love this because it's not sticky it has a beautiful sheen and it's called soft life oh I'm all about the soft life I can't take the hard life no more <laughs> I'm all about the soft life. All right, guys, this is the finished look. And this is pretty much like very similar to what I do every day. I don't do a lot. Um, I just like, like a sort of a natural, sort of earthy um, kind of makeup look. Oh, and for those of you who've been asking for the nail glue that I use, I'm going to have the Amazon link in the description box. Anyway, guys, this was... This was my makeup therapy. I think I'm going to call this video uh, makeup therapy. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.